While many FarmBot customers are monitoring their water levels on their tanks or dams, an increasing number of our customers are turning to us for monitoring their flow rates so they can keep track of what their water consumption is over time. And to do so, um, they simply need to attach one of our add-on sensors. In this case, it'll be a flow sensor. Uh, which will go into any one of the first four ports on the underside of a farm bot. So, to add flow monitoring to a standard farm bot, say next to your tank or on your pump shed, um, you would order a, uh, a standard farm bot flow sensor, which would look more or less like what we're looking at here on the table. We can monitor anything from, say, 25 mils up to 600 mils. This is a two inch uh, 50 mil uh, flow meter. And what we, what we supply is effectively a standard tick meter of whatever uh, dimension you specify, but it has a magnetic pulse output, which we use a, a reed switch to monitor that pulse output and to attach it to your farm bot and supply your water flows uh, remotely on your dashboard online. So what you see here is what you get. It arrives in the post, in a box like this, it has instructions on how to install it, um, which accompanies the box, of course. And inside you'll find not just the reed switch already pre-connected to the flow meter, but you'll have your brass adapter, which will go on here. To remove the protective sleeve. This would attach there. Um, and then, depending on what you've requested, we will supply, uh, whether it's metric, or imperial fitting so that you can simply add the flow sensor to your, your poly line. In order to do so, of course, you'll need either a, uh, a saw, a hacksaw, or, you know, more and more people preferring cutting discs these days. And to tighten it, you'll need stilsons or a set of clamps, and obviously some plumbing tape, just to make sure that you're not losing any, any water through the, through the threads. Um, now, with the inline installation, make sure that the arrow is flowing in the direction that uh, you intend that water to flow from your tank. And then once you have this connected on each side, like so, it would be ready for installation in the field. Now some things to keep in mind are that um, you might want to uh, get a hose clamp to fasten this if the, if the water's going this way, your tank is likely on the upstream side. Um, a hose clamp will fasten this to your meter, which will just give added support to the reed switch cable. And when you run this up to the underside of your farm bot tank, which is in more cases than not um, sitting on top of your tank, the, uh, the port here, the six pin port, will plug into one, two, three or four, as I've mentioned. And um, that's a fairly standard um, way to attach it. Once it's in, just screw it on and you've created the connection necessary for us to transmit data for your flow sensor. The last thing to keep in mind um, is the placement of your water level monitor in relation to your outflow. And we just, we just like to make sure that your flow sensor is outside of one and a half metres um, from the outflow so that we don't get the water level probe being sucked through the, um, the outlet.